Hey guys, what is going on? HDV here. Today's top 5 is a bit closer to my heart than anything else I've previously covered due to the fact it features the heart of the channel, Eevee. Now, everyone loves Eeveelutions. There's just something about them that wants our furry little friend to keep on evolving into every type available in the game. As we all know by now, Pokemon Sun and Moon have just been announced, and with a new region or generation brings brand new Pokemon, and with that, brings brand new Eeveelutions. Yes, I said the plural, it's because I want more than one this time, Game Freak. Don't let me down. With that being said, I will now go over 5 new possible Eeveelutions and how they might potentially evolve whether that be in Sun and Moon or any future generation that Game Freak may create. Let's get started! Kicking things off we have a Ghost type Eeveelution. This evolution could definitely be on the table due to the obvious ways Eevee could evolve into it. You guys deserve more though, so I'll give you 2 ways Eevee could evolve into a Ghost type. Yeah, you're right, Christmas just came early. Firstly, we all know that Eevee evolves into Espeon and Umbreon due to max happiness, but with the nice trainers, surely you've got the odd few that haven't had the lesson on treating your Pokemon in the right way. I could definitely see Eevee becoming a ghost type through minimum happiness due to the hatred towards its trainer. This would fit nicely with this typing because ghosts are usually dead or have a lot of anger built up inside. Another way Eevee could evolve into a ghost type, and the much more simpler way, would be to have Eevee level up and then faint in the same battle. This fits in well with the ghost typing as Eevee has just lost the will to battle and there's no strength. After the battle, Eevee would evolve into a ghost type, and well, happy days I guess. If you want a ghost type. At number 4 we have a rock type evolution. A really cool evolution technique used on the Hitmon evolution line could be used here in which the stats at a particular level determine what Eevee evolves into. Now this could be used on numerous evolutions, but to keep things simple, let's just use a rock type as the example. Rock types usually have a really high physical defense stat, so for this evolution to work, Eevee could perhaps need its physical defense to be higher than, let's say its special defense, at level 25. Meeting these requirements would enable Eevee to evolve into a rock type and could then go on to learn amazing moves such as Stealth Rock, Stone Edge and Rock Slide. Having access to these moves would definitely make Eevee's rock evolution a top tier Pokemon in the competitive scene. Coming in at number 3 we have a bug type evolution. I'd love to see a bug type evolution of Eevee because a fast bug type would put in so much work against those annoying psychic types that everyone hates coming up against. Bugs are also usually rocking that ugly factor, but Eevee puts in the finest of work and really puts on a good show for you, the plugs on your heartstrings are puts in a good word for Metapods worldwide. Having access to U-Turn would also be an amazing addition to this evolution, as just like Mega Beedrill, having a fast priority U-Turns is really really nice. But how would you give Eevee a bug's life? Yeah. Seeing how one of the biggest forms of evolution, which is through trading, hasn't been given to Eevee yet, I could really see trading Eevee, holding an insect plate or silver powder, which obviously powers up book type moves, could definitely give Eevee an evolution through this way. At number 2 we have a flying type evolution. I had to include this on the list because I absolutely love the artwork for this Pokemon. Now I could see a flying type evolution being brought to life at the same time as the bug or rock type evolutions. This is because evolutions are usually released having an advantage over the other, such as Jolteon against Vaporeon against Flareon, Umbreon against Espeon and Glaceon against Leafeon. I'm swaying more to a flying evolution being released with a bug type evolution because flying is super effective against bug, but I could also see the way of getting these two would be very similar through trading evolution. Whilst you'd have to trade Eevee with the Insect Plate or Silver Powder to get the Bug Type Evolution, you'd have to trade Eevee with the Sharp Beak or a Sky Plate to get the Flying Type Evolution. At number 1 we have a Dragon Type Evolution. Now this evolution is at the top of the list because it is without a doubt the most likely evolution to be brought to life. This is because of a number of reasons. Firstly, like I've said in a previous video, a leaked list of the Pokemon for Sun and Moon was discovered and a Pokemon on that list goes by the name of Dorahir. Now this is really interesting because Sylveon's Japanese name is Ninfia, whilst Leafeon and Glaceon's Japanese names are Leafia and Glacia. Now this list could also be fake, but it's nice to believe in things. Secondly, as stated before, Eeveelutions are always released so that they have a type advantage over the other, such as Umbreon and Espeon and Glaceon and Leafeon. Because Sylveon is a fairy type, it would have the advantage over a dragon type. You could argue that a steel and poison type are also plausible, as they would have an advantage over Sylveon, but a dragon type evolution having access to moves such as Dragon Dance and Outrage would be crazy good. Anyway, back on topic. For Eevee to evolve into a dragon type evolution, I believe the best possible way would be to have a sacred stone that you need to level up next to. Similar to Leafeon and Glaceon, but this time for it to be in a hidden cave lurking with dragon type Pokemon. 
I would have said that you could evolve Eevee in a similar way to Sylveon through Pokemon Emily whilst knowing a Fairy type move, but Eevee can't learn any Dragon type moves unless a new move is introduced. And that concludes it. I really hope you enjoyed this video as much as I did making it. It was really cool looking into all of the potential evolutions and all of the amazing artwork that people have created. If you did enjoy the video, then please leave a like down below and comment on what evolution you'd really like to see. I love to see everyone's ideas. I also have a couple of the top 5s and theories that you might enjoy on the screen right now, so be sure to check them out if you have the time. That wraps everything up from me though, so thanks for watching guys, have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video.